It just seems to me now, entering this fourth year, you tell me if I'm off. You feel free to do that. I hear that all the time anyway. But you tell me if I'm <laughs> off here. So year one, your first time head coach coming in, replacing Mike McCarthy, and there's Aaron Rodgers who's set in his ways, and we're all wondering if he can adapt to you and vice versa, right? And then you guys make the NFC Championship game, but then decide to draft Jordan Love, and me and the rest of the uh, media world is asking, why would you antagonize your best player like that? And then that was year two with all of that and all the conversation. And year three, we all know going into it, we didn't know if Aaron was coming back. And now this seems to be just like quiet and normal for the first time for you in Green Bay. Is that a fair assessment? right now for you yeah i would say uh, this last off season has been the least amount of gray i've grown probably <laughs> since i've been here so um the, the the first two were definitely uh there was there was a lot of talk and you know we we do our best to kind of block out the outside world anyways but i think anytime you're in a situation where you don't know if your quarterback's coming back that that's a pretty big deal obviously every year in this league is met with different challenges and different circumstances and I mean we got to adjust again this year because we lost a lot of great players that have helped produce a lot of wins here for the organization I mean you're talking about guys like Devontae Adams and Cedaria Smith and and as well as a few others uh, MVS so um, you know we we got to acclimate the new guys we're really excited about our team but bottom line is Everybody's excited this time of the year. You got to go in and you got to put the work in. You got to come together as a team and get better each and every day. Well, I mean, we were all surprised that Rodgers signs back and then Devontae Adams goes. And I'm wondering, what about you? Were you surprised about that sequence, Coach? Yeah, I'd say so. I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blow smoke up your butt. I, I definitely was a little bit surprised how that whole, whole thing transpired. I was optimistic that we could. Uh, work something out but at the end of the day it, it didn't work out that way and so you just you got to adjust and you got to move on so uh was there any point in time because again uh, every head coach that's highly successful like you is a control freak i mean did you try and and make the calls control it best you can to avoid that result oh. coach oh absolutely yeah absolutely you're always in uh, communication with you know your your best players and and not only your best players but guys that you truly respect how they go about their work and and you know Devontae's no different obviously he's uh, the best receiver in the game right now in my opinion and then I think he's a great person as well and I love how he approaches the game and how he works and he's a guy that I got a lot of respect for so certainly we, we tried to do our best to you know kind of remedy the situation and just didn't didn't go that way how has your relationship with Rodgers evolved from the start and now to where it is today how can you walk me through that if you don't mind yeah I, I think it's just like anything you know we I think we know each other I think there's a lot of trust and, and love and respect for one another not to say that we we don't have our differences just like any anybody else uh, that certainly happens at, from time to time but I think just the level that we communicate we, we're always able to you know uh, be on the same page, and and like I said, there, there's such a mutual respect for one another. What would the uh, a difference be like? What and and obviously it's resolvable, <laughs> clearly. But just walk me through what a, what a what a loggerhead moment with uh, with Rogers would look like or sound like. Well, it, it could be anything, right? It could be just in terms of how you know you're implementing a game plan, or um, you know there there might be a certain play that that I really want to run, but if, if he doesn't feel comfortable with it, why would I put him in that position? Mm -hmm. So he generally wins the arguments. <laughs> 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 yes, indeed. I, 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 I hear you. Um, but I guess, you know, it seems like you're, you're more attuned to each other than ever before. It, that's what it looks like when you're watching a game with you guys together. Yeah, absolutely. I, like I said, I think just, you know, a lot of it is just in the the preparation that we put in uh, on a weekly basis, and you know, being in all the meetings with him, so we have great dialogue, great communication, and you know, you get a good sense for for what he likes, and then you know, in game, just that communication and and being able to adjust if we need to if we need to adjust. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.